Hi guys, it's me Peaches and welcome to my channel. If you're new, make sure you click like and subscribe. Today, we are going to be talking about why the autistic community doesn't like the puzzle piece or the Light It Up Blue campaign. I don't know what I'm doing! Last week, I asked a question towards my autistic followers on Instagram, and it was, why don't you like the puzzle piece? And I got many interesting answers, often referring to the history of the puzzle piece and how it's ableist, as well as the harmful organizations and charities that the puzzle piece is connected to. I also got some answers talking about the symbolism of the puzzle piece and why they don't like it. I am really grateful for your guys' answers, and if any of you are interested in participating in these types of things that I do on my Instagram, you can follow me on my Instagram. I have a link to my Instagram in the description of this video. So why does the autistic community hate the very color and symbol that's supposed to represent them and spread awareness? Well, a big reason why is because the puzzle piece is oftentimes connected to groups, charities, and organizations that are trying to silence autistic voices rather than lift them up. Oftentimes, these organizations and charities are trying to create a cure or are putting their money into harmful therapies that could traumatize and do more hurt than good towards autistic people. But something that you also need to understand and learn about is the puzzle pieces history. Something many people don't realize is that the puzzle piece symbol itself has a very ableist history and Autism Speaks isn't the first charity to use the puzzle piece as a logo. The puzzle piece originally came from the UK and was created by a man named Gerald Gisson. He was a board member of the National Autistic Society. He believed that autistic people suffered from a puzzling condition. They have been using this logo for a long time before they later on changed it. The original logo was a puzzle piece that had a crying child on it. The crying child represented how children suffer from this puzzling condition. Now, as an autistic, I am kind of upset that people have decided to use a symbol that was not created by another autistic. And on top of that, they have been using the symbol to represent how we are missing pieces of ourselves, when that is not at all true. I am a whole person, and I should be treated like a whole person, but because of this symbol, I am not treated like a whole person by these organizations and charities. The puzzle piece was an ableist symbol from the very beginning, making it seem like we were diseased, weren't fully human, and were nothing but miserable because we're autistic. And this symbol is continued to be used in such a way by organizations and groups like Autism Speaks and by people who think that we need to be cured. This is not something that the autistic community wants. So now you have a better understanding of why we don't like the puzzle piece, but what about Light It Up Blue? Well, the Light It Up Blue campaign was started by Autism Speaks. And if you don't know what the problem is with Autism Speaks, you need to check out my last video that talks about Autism Speaks and their history. Kind of goes over briefly about kind of like how they got started, what their goals are, and why they're so problematic. But yeah, Autism Speaks started the Light It Up Blue campaign and every year in April, Light It Up Blue is everywhere and autism speaks gets more attention and more money from parents and families and people who think they're supporting autistic people when really they're just feeding their money into a very harmful organization something that we also need to consider when it comes to the lighted up blue campaign is how the color blue is already widely associated with boys and it's considered a boy's color and I think that's wrong and that blue should not be considered a boy's color and that pink is not necessarily a girl's color either. And I think the idea of gendering colors like that is wrong. But also this further feeds into the idea of what autism looks like. Most people believe that autism is a boy's only condition. And also when they think of autism, they only think about a cis heterosexual white 
kid who's a boy, you know, and that's not the case. A autistic person can be any race, size, shape, gender, or sexuality. And this whole lighted up blue thing further stigmatizes people's views on autism because blue is a boy's color and that just makes everyone think of what they think autism looks like. So you can't use blue, and you can't use the puzzle piece. So what are you supposed to use instead? The autistic community has created a variety of different colors and symbols that they would prefer to have people use to combat the attacks of the puzzle piece and the light it up blue. Some of these are tone it down top, red instead, and light it up gold. Some of the symbols that you can use are like the gear, the infinity symbol, and AU as in gold on the periodic table. These are some symbols that were created by autistic people, for autistic people, and to be used to combat the barrage of puzzle pieces and blue. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I was originally going to make a video about what Autism Speaks is currently up to, but I ran out of spoons this week, so this is the video I'm making since it is a little easier to put together. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you click like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Is this working?